Oh, right. Hopefully the camera will focus. There, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's about right. Cool. Right, welcome back to another video. Today, you might recognize this set, actually. You might recognize it as the famous TechFlow set, and that's because it is. I'm in the office currently. It is a Thursday afternoon, and today we're gonna be building, and I hope this works, the ultimate portable, <laughs> the ultimate portable Chromecast projector. This could be real interesting. So I'm just gonna get rid of the box here. And here is the projector. This thing feels very premium, it's a very heavy box. It's one of those kind of boxes that has a real nice lift from it. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm sure you guys get what I mean. I need a haircut by the way. I'm gonna be faffing with my hair throughout this entire video. I can feel it already. Right, let's have a look what it says on the box first. Okay, this, this is a projector by a company called iCodis or I-C-O-D-I-S. Wow, that's got a hefty battery in it. I presume this comes in the box because it requires a 19 volt, 3.42 amp DC adapter for input power. And the battery, it's got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery in this thing. That's insane. I'm excited, let's get in the box. Nice bit of foam in the box. And a nice bit of more foam that <laughs> should hopefully keep it nice and safe. And here is what I think is a projector. Take a nice little protective layer off. Wow, this is a fancy piece of kit. This looks lovely. Let's have a quick look around this and then we'll see what else is in the box. Let's start from the front. So on the front, it looks like what you've got is a, uh, an infrared sensor or IR sensor. Um, you then have the actual lens itself, which uh, looks beefy, I like that. And a nice little vent on this front. And again, on the right hand side from the front, you also have another vent. On the left hand side from the front, you have another vent and the focus wheel, which feels really, feels really nice actually. It's like, it's not, you know you get those focus wheels or you get like a cheap lens or a camera and it, it's like, when you, you pull it slightly, it's like, whoosh, just like out of focus completely. This feels like it's gonna be very precise. It feels like a very precise focus wheel. <clears throat> on the back here from left to right, you've got a DC input for charging the battery or just having it kept on on solid power. You have a, what I think might be, yeah, a standby button because there's also an on and off switch on the far right hand side, followed by a USB and another USB and then a HDMI port and then a VGA port and an audio out. Nice, a 3.5 millimeter jack if you want to plug it into some speakers or some headphones. I presume this thing has some speakers in it, which might actually be what these left and right grills are, or maybe the bottom grill. I don't know, I'm not really too sure. Either way, that's what's on the back, along with a on and off switch. On the bottom, we've got some more vents and grills. Ah, I've also got a little flip up stand, which I presume is for angling this thing, and then, which really. <laughs> This is really handy. This is what, I don't know whether most projectors have this, but this is a really handy little feature. You can literally screw in a tripod to the bottom of this. I could put this on a gorilla pod, wrap it around a tree, project it onto the side of a van, and have like an outdoor portable cinema. <laughs> Charge people three pound per film. Business, business right out from the side of your van. That's amazing. I love this thing already. I haven't even, I haven't even turned it on yet, and it's brilliant. By the way, this is in no way sponsored. This is just a bit, this, these guys literally sent this out and said, can you review this? Let us know what you think. Um, so I'm not like, I, I don't have to say anything specific about this product. It literally is just my thoughts on this. And uh, so far it seems to be pretty dang sweet. So uh, I'm gonna keep on reviewing it and I'm gonna keep on telling you guys exactly what I think. And if there's anything bad about it, I will let you know. Um, so far, so good. Right, moving on into the box. There's another bit of foam which kind of just housed this nicely. Move that to the side. And then, we have, ooh, okay, we have this giant, Oh, this giant box in the box with, I presume, what has everything else in it. What we got? We have, oh wow, okay, that's nice to include. We have an actual, we have an actual HDMI cable there. Oh, this is a big, these guys have thought of everything. Got a uh, EU to UK adapter, which is really handy because it's something that nothing comes with these days. We've also got an actual EU plug here, which, uh, which will power and charge this device. We have the hefty power brick. 
Um, but again, this thing has a battery in it. You could just charge it overnight, use it the next day. It probably lasts forever. Well impressed. Oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, you then get the remote, which is, might add, quite a nice remote. Quite plasticky, but the buttons feel very tactile. They feel like they're not gonna slip or, you know, mess up. They feel like they're gonna do and serve their purpose, which is always nice. Now check this out. We've got a VGA cable there, but, you know, I was on about a gorilla pod earlier. They've only gone and included a little mini tripod in the box. <laughs> this is amazing. What? Okay, no, this is blowing my mind. Here's the uh, here's the fancy tripod that this thing comes with. Let me just screw this into the bottom here. I'm gonna leave it stood up next to me. This is too much. This is too much to deal with right now. This is gonna feel like a really sponsored video simply because I'm just like losing my mind over the fact that these guys have literally thought of absolutely everything they could possibly think of in the box. This is amazing. It looks like something out of War of the Worlds. Cool, I'm just gonna set that off to the side there. What else have we got in the box? We have a mini projector instruction manual, which is in English, very handy. We also have something that is entirely in Chinese or Japanese or something, and I have absolutely no idea what that says, but looks nice nonetheless, feel great as well. And also we have a customer service card. We have the store name, the store website, the customer service emails, and um, yeah, it's just a business card basically. Awesome, right, let's settle that to one side and let's get this thing turned on. I guess what I've gone ahead and done is found a battery pack. I've got the USB cable right here and I've literally just set this on a tripod, focused it on the wall and I have to say, the image looks incredible. This is powered all by itself. There's no cable talking to this at all. This is literally completely powered by itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna hope that a Google Chromecast can be powered by a power brick because I actually have no idea whether this baby is gonna produce enough power to, uh, to power this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into HDMI, well, the, the only HDMI. Okay, so I've had this Chromecast plugged into the TV over there and uh, I've set it all up. So uh, basically you guys don't have to be so bored watching me set it up. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go into the home app on Google, check it's all working fine. I'll just plug it into here. It seems to be on. It says that the Wi-Fi network is lost, but it's powered on. So let's just see, <laughs> let's see if this thing works. I don't really, ah. Oh my God, that is literally, that's a Chromecast. On the TV, on the, oh, there's no a TV. This is a Chromecast powered by a power bank on a wireless projector on a wall with no wires whatsoever. This is actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna change this camera angle a little bit so you can see this a bit better. And uh, let's see if this Chromecast really does properly work. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I can literally project whatever I want onto this. I can go onto my channel and I can play anything I want onto this. Are you ready? What's inside a black box is a black box and it's worth it. And there's my face. It's about the same size as well. The speakers aren't that bad, they're really tinny in this thing, but what can you say? I can't believe it. Let's see how big it goes. Let's, let's give it a real test and see how big this thing goes. I'm just gonna literally pick this up, walk back there, and then kind of show you how far I can get with it. This is interesting. Right, let's keep this playing. I'm moving backwards. I'm keeping going. Still going. I'm gonna go back. Still going. Obviously it's quite dark now. Okay. <laughs> this. This projector is honestly about nine, maybe 10 foot away from me right now, from this wall. And it's being cut off by this as well. So this would actually go all the way up here. This is like, I'm trying, I don't even know how big this is. This is literally like a 12 foot image across the wall and it's crystal clear. I mean, you can see each and every pixel on the screen. Well, the pixels are only about one millimeter by one millimeter. And when you stood over there, it looks crystal clear. I can't believe this. Okay, so excuse the mess. But that is the projector, and that's the image, and this is how far away the projector is. All the way over there, over here, onto the wall, is honestly crystal, crystal clear. Now Google Casts, Chromecasts, whatever. Now Google Chromecasts are notoriously not the, uh, they're not the sharpest things in the world, but 
That is crystal clear. And when you stood over here, it honestly looks like it's full HD. That's honestly unbelievable. This thing, I could, I could literally take this outside right now. If it wasn't raining, I'd do it. I could literally take this outside right now, go all the way over there. As long as I've got the Chromecast connected to my phone's internet, I can take this anywhere. I can literally take this thing when it's fully charged with a battery bank, a Chromecast, and my phone, and I could literally go and sit in the middle of town, project this onto the side of a wall or onto a van, anything like that, and just watch a, watch a film, watch a movie. In fact, you could literally start a business, like I said earlier, you could literally just start a business. You could start a cinema, outdoor cinema, with this thing. I can't believe it. Honestly, unbelievable. And the windows are wide open, by the way. It's not exactly dark in here, and you can still see everything on the screen right now. There's two soft boxes here and here. The windows are wide open, as you guys can see there. And it's still projecting fine. Like, it's, it's a watchable image, and I'm well impressed. Okay, this thing is blowing my mind. It is completely blowing my mind. <sighs> I haven't even read the instruction manual. There could be loads more to this that I don't even understand. Okay, so to summarize this projector, it's got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, which makes it incredibly portable. It's got a brightness level of 3,000 lumens, which is a pretty impressive brightness level for something this small. It's got a built-in speaker, it's got USB ports, it's got HDMI ports, it's got a VGA port if you're rocking any old school gear, a 3.5 millimeter jack if you want to plug it into a full set of surround sound speakers, and a DC input if you want to just leave it on charge in like a normal space. I can't believe it. And it's got, it, it, you can control it with a remote control, you can plug whatever you want into it, you could probably plug you know, you can plug anything into it. You can plug your PS4 into it and go and play GTA on a giant wall in your garden or on the side of your car or anything. And you can control everything from this. It's incredible. It's a really cool, it's a really, really cool projector. And if I had to say something bad about it, it would probably just be the build quality. Like, this thing is very plasticky. But then, if it was made out of metal, it'd probably overheat all the time. So, I don't know. I can't really, honestly, give this any negative feedback, if I'm honest. It works incredibly well. They included everything in the box that I could possibly need. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome piece of kit. And we can use a Chromecast anywhere in the world, as long as we have a phone with an internet connection, this, which is fully charged, and a Chromecast with a battery bank and a micro USB cable. What more can you want from a projector, honestly? <laughs> Okay, so if you want to go buy this projector, all the links for everything will be in the description. And I think this projector is $419, which, let's have a look. What's $419 in British pounds? $419 equals 321 pounds and 58 pence. This projector is 321 pounds and 58 pence. What's 321 divided by 10? The answer is 32.1. Okay, so you can go to the cinema for an average price of about 10 pounds. You can either watch 32 films in the cinema or buy this and watch as many as you want, wherever you want, with whatever snacks you want, without paying anything to any cinema. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, so if you guys want to go buy this, you can do that. All the links are in the description. Everything you need is in the description. But I've also been very kindly given a 10% off code by ICODIS or ICO. DIS, <laughs> and if you guys want to go and get 10% off this, which is, uh, let me think, 32 pounds and 10 pence or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. The link's in the description. And the, uh, the code is JED10OFF. It's on the screen right now. So uh, go ahead, make your purchases, purchase this awesome projector. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, or if you want me to get a more budget projector that's sort of like, you know, more on the sort of 100 pound mark, let me know and I'll compare it to this because so far I'm incredibly, incredibly impressed and I really wasn't expecting anything as good as this. That's been today's video. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, a thumbs up would be incredibly appreciated and uh, a subscribe would also be really appreciated too. And uh, if you want to share this video, go nuts. But either way, don't forget to smash the sub button, smash the like button and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm literally going to have to launch across this to do my ending. Peace. <laughs>